Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Good evening. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Nice to see you today. Let's see, we're seven. Seven, seven. How was your day? Fine, fine. Yes. Okay, let's see who are here right now. It's a little cold, right? At least. Yes. Nice. It was raining in the afternoon. Yeah, it's true. It was raining a little bit in the afternoon. And after that, the, the weather stayed mm -hmm. cold. Yes. Man, that cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That means that later on, it will become still colder. Yes, that's true. So we will have to get a very good cover today. Okay, let's see Adolfo Rivas. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Brenda Alexandra, Claudia Guadalupe, Cruz Antonio, present. David, present teacher. Solo que voy a estar de oyente mientras llego a la casa, teacher. Vaya, David, no llega todavía. Todavía no. Ok. José Alberto, José Alberto. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Arnoldo. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Kevin Adonai. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Zulma Yanet. Present. Victor. Present. Fernando Enrique. Present. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay. ¿Cómo siguió Victor? Ya un poco mejor, teacher. Ay, qué bueno. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Hay que cuidarse. Sí, sí, gracias. Recuperarse pronto. Adolfo, here. Por ahí lo vi. Yes, teacher, I'm here, present. Okay. Good evening for all. Good evening. Adriana María. Ana. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. José Alberto. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. José Arnoldo. Carla Lorena. Mauricio. Nubia. Saúl Edgardo. Ok. Bueno. Nice to see you. Nice. 
evening. Nice to see you. Today, we continue talking about the seven R's and we're going to be studying some vocabulary related to the topic, okay? And we will also check uh, how work and how watch the order of colors and everything. Todos tienen hambre. Okay. Well, check. This is the title for today's class. A review vocabulary concerning to the seven hours. Okay. Participants will be able to express to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL service provider. Okay, so that's our topic for today. I have some questions for you. This is with the purpose of you to, uh, with the purpose of having you relax a little bit and think about different things check this question if your home was packed full of golf balls how would you remove them mm -hmm. uh -huh. if your home was packed full of golf balls how would you remove them? Imagine you entered your house, you're going from work, right? You enter your house, but it is totally full of golf balls. How would you remove those golf balls? I will hop, I will open a hole. Where? <laughs> huh? Where? On the wall, on the door, I don't know. <laughs> And one by one, and to get out one one by one. You would take out one by one, but imagine yeah. your whole <laughs> house is full of balls. balls. Okay. Huh? okay. Well, one day you will finish, right? Taking out one by one. Okay. I don't know, but this is a, a solution, an alternative okay. option, right? Alternative option, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, Jose Alberto, what would you do? Um, I thinking, I guess, um, uh, using, uh, vacuum cleaners, industrial vacuum cleaners, industrial vacuum cleaner, uh, five or, or, or 10. Okay. Like the Casa Fantasmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Fernando, what would you do? Maybe I could just open the door and windows. Mm -hmm. Because and if if my house is packed, I just need to open the door. And then what would you do? With a mop, maybe. Take it now with a mop. With a with a sweep, una escoba. Right? Uh, with a sweep, right? You will sweep them out. Okay. Very good. Now, check this other question. Would you rather talk like Yoda or breath like Darth Vader? You know how Yoda speaks, right? He speaks backwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
aprender inglés es el propósito. Uh -huh. What would you do? How uh, would you rather talk like Yoda or breath like Darth Vader? Uh, <laughs> like Yoda. Yes, is better than the how oh, to break Darth Vader. Uh huh. Breath like Darth Vader. <laughs> That's difficult, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Good night, teacher. Hello, Carlita. Carlita. I have, I, I have never been here about, really. <laughs> I don't yes. know. Who is Yoda? You have never seen a Star Wars movies? I don't like that movie. <laughs> like this kind of movie. Sorry. You don't like science fiction? No. Science fiction movies. Okay. Okay. Yoda. Yoda. Is somebody that has oh. seen the. I will see it in, in, uh, at Google, right? Okay. 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 Yoda. Yoda. Mm, okay. Huh, let's go to the next question. Would you rather speak all languages or be able to talk with animals? I'd rather speak all languages. Okay. Me too, all languages. All languages? Yes. Don't speak with animals? No? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You, you, can you can travel oh. all the, the cities all that the you world. want if, if you, uh, yes, if you can speak all the languages. Yes, definitely. I, I prefer to speak with another Homo sapiens. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, cheeky. My cat is cheeky. Okay. Okay, let's see the last question. What would you do if you came home and found a penguin in your freezer? <laughs> Uh -huh. That that is so strange. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you do if you? In this case, you prefer speak with the, <laughs> with the talking with the animals. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what would you do if you came home and found a penguin in your face? <laughs> Maybe I can try a new dish. You would try what? A new dish. <laughs> <laughs> a new menu. <laughs> okay, a new dish with the with the penguin. Okay. If he is Kowal Kowalski. Uh-huh. Or Rico. <laughs> <laughs> they will start jumping all around. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. That's just to make you laugh a little bit before. Right. Okay. Now let's see. Look at this. Just refreshing your minds. Remember, yesterday we were talking about the seven R's, right? And we said that yeah. the right product, in the right quantity, the right condition, at the right place, at the right time, to the right customer and at the right price. Price. Okay. Good. And these are the seven R's. Now, let's see how much you remember. And you're going to check, to match. Okay. Match the, the R's, the seven R's that you have there on top with the correct definition. I, I can hear you, teacher. Hmm? I hear a creature yeah. in the background. Some problems, yeah, some problem there. with the audio. Really? Wait. Give me. Okay. Second. Now we are watching the screen. And you couldn't watch the screen. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes, you could watch or you couldn't. We are watching yes, now very well. Okay, perfect. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Now check. We have, I'm going to move this. Aparecen estos cositos aquí. So you're going to match the headlines that you have here on top to the corresponding examples. Remember yesterday we were reading and we were talking about the seven R's, right? Now you know what they mean. You have the right product, the right place, the right customer, the right quantity, the right condition, the right time and the right price. So what you're going to do now is match them with the mm -hmm. example of each of them. Yeah, look at the examples of each of them. I'm going to give you five minutes in groups of, I'm going to make groups of four and couple of groups, one group of five. Okay, so match, five minutes discussion and matching, and then I bring you back. There you go. Join. Join. Adriana Maria, hello. Join, join. José Alfredo, José Noldo. Saúl, check if you can see the invitation. Brenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. Uh, we can start now. Alfredo is with no, it's not with us, but we can we can start. Okay, if you want, we can we can read every sentence, and then we can find the the meaning or or the correct word. Hey. Okay, number one. Amazon most ensure product are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it with today from some another company, this is an example for? I put right condition. Right, right mm. condition. Yeah. Amazon mass and ship products are delivered within two days. Yeah. If the customer can get it within two days from some other company. Mm -hmm. Yes. It can be condition or can be the right time. Um, I don't see in, in the others sentence mm -hmm. talk about the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, it is a uh, right time, I believe. I think right so. Time. I think. I guess it's right time. Yeah. I answer this exercise in the platform 
Yeah, and I remember answer. that. You are right. And the answer is right condition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember right now. Thank you. Okay. Right condition. What number of homework? 2.1 or 2, I don't, don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, re I don't remember too. What is the number 2? No, I don't remember too. Neither. I don't remember either. Either, yeah. Thank you, teacher. I don't remember either because... Yes, but the exercise is the number 2. Yeah. The exercise and number two. Two and two. Yeah. 2.2. 2. It's a right condition. You are right. Okay. Number two. The, uh, if you want to read, Albert. Okay. Then Dell must have strict controls and process to ensure the products ordered on their website are delivered to the right locations. To the right location, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is obviously a uh, right place. Yes. Yeah, yeah. because he's talking is talking about location, and location is it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Talk about right place. place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Okay. Number three. I can read number three. Okay. Is a production play right product. Uh, right product and right customer. Oh, no, 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 right no. time. Mm -hmm. Right time. Uh -huh. yes. Number six is right product. And number seven is right time. Right product. <coughs> Eso entiendo. Pero veamos, tal vez ahí cambia. Ok. Yo One, creo quantity. Quítele la I a quantity. Uh -huh. The number one may be a uh, right condition. I think number number two is right condition. They must have a strict control and processes to ensure that the pro that products ordered on their website are delivered on the right location. Mm, para mí eso es right place. Right place. <laughs> right place. City of the product is not affected by perishability. Oof. What do you say? Right? I think there condition. is the right condition. 
Rosa has to meet quality requirement for the customer and ensure that the uh, quality of the product. Uh, but it, it it's mentioned so many times quantity quantity. Uh -huh. Or oh, no. know. Maybe we can try with right condition, as you say in the first place. Uh huh. Condition. Mm -hmm. And we, the fourth, fourth, it says a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label I don't know if it's correct. Label, labeled, labeled bottles and to a bold cost consumer in big cans. Mm, maybe it's right, right quantity. It's packaged and level bottles and to a bowl consumer and big cans. Right. It could be right quantity. Right quantity. Uh, quantity because it depends on the client. The the the, the quantity. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it could be. I don't See? know what you think. I think they say, you, are you laughing on my 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 letters, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm precious. They are precious. <laughs> it's in code. <laughs> so, okay, the number five, Samsung must ensure that the mobile, mobiles are charged with the corresponding price to the retailer, stores, and customers. Samsung must ensure that they move and charge with the, 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 the right the right price, I think. Right, right price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right price. Right price. Number six, the products that the customer needs either today or in the future, smartphones, laptops, HD, TVs, etc. Ahí está. Ese sería el right time. <laughs> Uf. And not right customer. <laughs> Products that the customer needs either today or in the future. Mm. Who has to current to pursue? Month of breakfast, I don't know the warehouse to ensure right time. Jesus. <laughs> they, they all con... sound the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Right customer. Productos que el cliente necesita, el consumidor necesita. Ya sea hoy o en el futuro. En el futuro. It could be right product. No. Right, right, right product, va. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver, no lo más puesto. No, we don't use it yet. Right product. Es que I guess that a, we, we're going to change some of these options. <laughs> some of that doesn't sound really good. <laughs> But we need to try. <laughs> Has to guarantee the sufficient amount of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time deliver to customers. Uh, what is the last one that we didn't use yet? Right time, right place, right customer. Right customer. Creo. Yes, it's the last one. But I, 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 something, something tell me that maybe it's not right. <laughs> but, but it's the last, the last one. Definitivamente no puedo escribir. Muy, muy grandes son mis dedos y la pantalla es muy chiquita. Clon de phone. Sí. I have my phone. That becomes difficult. Um, I may be fine. I'm working in the phone too, but I can change it with my computer. 
just give me a second. Yes. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Amazon Messenger <laughs> brings their delivery within two days. If the customers can get it within two days from some other company, must ensure product is delivered within two days. If the consumer can get it within two days from some other company, then must have strict control and process to ensure the product order or the website delivered to the right location. Five days. Mm. Mm. Okay, if you want, I can share my screen. Okay, thanks. Sorry, teacher. No problem. It's okay. Uh, 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 you can see. Um, no yet. No yet? Now yes. Okay. 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 Bye. Who has to warrant it has to pay the amount of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think that it's correct or not? Uh, right quantity, right price. I think that this is correct, right place. Right place. Right place. Okay, mm -hmm. let me think. Dell must have strict controls and process to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to the right location. Maybe it's right place. <laughs> we have to meet quantity requirements from the customers and ensure that the quantity of the product does not affect that price ability. Ability. That is in the platform, but I I didn't do. You haven't do done the exercise do yet. No, I didn't. I yesterday I didn't do it. Okay. Amazon must ensure products are delivered to the children. I think there is a right. 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 Time. Amazon debe ser. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. We're done. Yes, we're finished. Oh, perfect. Let's go there. We are like a, we are like a frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. Okay. Thirty seconds. Uh, 
How did you find the exercise? Was it easy? A little? It was easy, right? What do you think? A little, a little, no. <laughs> yeah, a little because the sentence has a, a case word. Uh-huh. Yeah, with with relation with the with the number or with the R. Uh huh. Yeah, with with the every with every R. Okay, let's see the first one. Right product, which is the right product? You really right product. Which is the right product? Read the example. It's a number six. Product that the customers needs either today or in the future. And smartphones, laptops, HDTVs, etc. Okay. Right. What about no, a right place? Which is the right place? Um, the second one. Mm -hmm. Read it. Okay. Dell must have a strict control and process to ensure that products ordered in their website are delivered to the right locations. Okay, that's the right place. Strict controls, right? They have a strict controls and processes. And process. Later on, we're going to talk about these two words because they can be nouns, but they can also be verbs. And the pronunciation changes a little bit depending on the use you're giving to them. Okay, the right customer. Mm -hmm. The right customer. Yes. Number four, number four teacher. Uh -huh. Read it. A lo local ketchup manufacturer. May sold ketchup to retailer in package, package and label bottles and to a bulk cost consumer in big cans. Okay, good. What about the right quantity? I think there is the three, the three, the third, sorry. Yes. Can you read the example? Can you read the example? Sorry. <laughs> Ya lo leí, pero estaba silenciado el micrófono. Okay. Okay. A grocer has to meet quantity requirements for their customer and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perishability. Mm -hmm. Very good. Right condition, which is the right which is the right condition is the first amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days if the customer can get in within two days from some other company Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
And the right time. Number seven. Uh -huh. The example. As you all has to guarantee that sufficient amount of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customers. And of course, the last one, the right price. Number five. Yeah. Uh huh. Read the example. Read the example. Samsung. Somebody read the example, please. Me, me, okay. Samsung must ensure that the mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to the retailer stores and customers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, repeat, ensure. 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 Deliver. 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 Ay, sorry, espérenme, que me lo estoy queriendo llevar a ustedes todo rayando aquí. Ah. Ok, ahí está. Eh, uh -huh. Delivered. Delivered. Within. 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 Processes. Processes. Control. 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 But check here. We have, uh, we have control. Strict control. What is Street control, control in this case? Is it a verb or is it a noun? I think sure. it's, it's not a noun. A noun, exactly. Uh, Del must have a, a strict control. He should have a strict control. That means that he has to control, right? And processes? What is processes? A noun or a verb? Noun too. Mm -hmm. That's a noun too. And the verb will be process. Processes. Processes. A noun. Process. Right? Process. She processes the evidence. Processes as a verb. But as a noun, processes. Con el estrés acá. Remember in English, uh, we do not have a... Uh, uh, we do not have acentos, right? But we have the stress. So the stress is the voice that goes and affects one syllable. In this case, the syllable that is affected is processes. If it is a verb, that will be process. He has to process. She processes. The stress will be here. Mm -hmm. But as a noun, the, the stress is pro, pro, process, a process, okay? Uh, locations, Lo location. Location. Shh. location. Shh. No location, right? Location. Location. Locations. And check, when we have a, words that finish in shun, the stress will be here. Okay. Location. The stress will always be in the previous syllable. 
page television vision yeah television location television transformation so the stress will be in the syllable prevution in spanish you know that words that finish in sion or tion they have an uh, acento right and they have it in yeah. the boys go over on but in english the stress is in the syllable previous okay requirements requirements require requirements 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 perishability 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 what is perish um, is like the the lost the quality mm -hmm. like die right like die so by perishability that means that the product can be ruined can get ruined manufacturer Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Factor. Package. 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 Bulk. 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 Ensure. 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 Customers. Customer. 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 Warranty. A warranty. A warranty. A warranty. Official. Teacher, can you repeat? Customer or customer? Customer. Customer. Okay. Because we have a, conf a little confusion with the uh, character or I don't know how to say the yeah i know what people wear for example yeah 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 okay the the spelling with cartoon that's this it's customer with no oh. that's not customer that's a custom a customer that's a custom a custom a hundi fras right yeah custom hasta allí no no lleva r oh okay <laughs> This is the difference. Okay, thank you. You dress up, you wear a costume. Mm, okay. But the customer is the person who buys the product, right? Mm -hmm. Amounts. 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 Available. 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 Warehouse. 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 Delivery. 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 Okay. Well, let's see. Any questions here so far? No questions. No question, teacher. Thank you. Okay. No teacher. Nice. No teacher. Okay, now uh, think about your experience as a customer, right? Don't think right now as a company, think as a customer. Choose three of the seven R's that we were mentioning here and discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience. Why? Why? What you're going to this uh, to do is choose three, right? The three that you consider are extremely relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. Okay. I'm going to send you to the rooms right now. Let's see. I'm going to change groups. So you work with different people now. There you go. Discussion time. 
join, join, join. José Alfredo, Adolfo, José Arnoldo, try to join. Ok. Sí. There are three hours we have to choose, right, teacher? Yeah, you have to choose three. Right. Most relevant. The most relevant. The ones that you consider the most relevant. Um, Right, Bryce. Yeah, right, me too. <laughs> right, Bryce. Right condition to me and right time. I don't know. Right condition. And be ready to explain, right? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, well, the right price, because the price is has to be the uh, ex, uh, it has to be, uh, it have to be a competitive price. And um, it, it it have uh, to be an appropriate appropriate price too, mm -hmm. because um, the customer maybe don't want to pay too much, and if you establish a low price the customer can think is a bad product. Uh, that is with the right price. With the right condition, um, here say, the right condition in logistics is about the safe delivery of the proposed product. I think uh, 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 if you offer a product, you have to keep that your customer receive that exactly product. Uh -huh, exactly what you have offered. Mm -hmm. And the right time because uh, the right time is very important most is you is you oh. awesome. Hundred dollar for a cell phone is not the 
it's not Samsung, it's not Apple, but but it's the it's the right brand for the price. I think is the right price, the right quality, and the right products. Is for is is called Gamma Media. So is a cell phone from Huawei. A Huawei. I think. Yes. Huawei. But Huawei. I think. Huawei. I think the quality is right quantity, right product, right price. Mm -hmm. That's my experience. I, I experience. Um, I I would like to know about yourself. Okay, my, I have an experience uh, two years ago when uh, the boss of my girl was selling a phone. Uh, it was a Samsung Galaxy S8, and he wants he wants uh, two hundred eighty bucks. No, sorry, two two hundred. Two hundred. 200 and it was a Samsung Galaxy S8. So I definitely, definitely buy it because uh, I checked in the internet what was the, the pr price and the minimum was the two, 250. Oh, so I buy it and it was a, a very, a, como se diría muy cuidado, very, mm, it was care, it was care, I had very care, so that's the phone that I have till now. Oh, that's so good. I guess, I guess the right, the right price. For me, it was uh, cheap, uh, the right condition because it was very care. Okay. And maybe the the right product because it was that I was looking for a nice cell phone with a high capability of to do a lot of things like playing video games, heavy video games, and stuff like that. That's why I think that man. yes, and it's, it's still alive till now. <laughs> that was my experience with the as a customer. Yeah, that's that's good. Cool. Okay. I don't know what else has. Okay, <laughs> Nubia, tell me. Uh, quantity, price. Number, number one, quantity. Quantity. Okay. Price. Price. Products. And products. Uh, similar to Alberto. Yes. Okay. Now, Adri. Alicia? In me, right product. Product. Right price. Price. In right quantity. Quantity. Y agreguele right time. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we have to, we have to, we have to choose only three. Only three. Yeah, and Adriana? Are you there? Maybe, but maybe, maybe you're there. Okay, now and me product price and time. Time. Ah, you remember that. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> we com if we compare the solution or the the priorization, uh, for example, the second or price is the second for all, right? But the first one is similar to Alberto and Nubia, and product is for me and, and Alicia. How do you say estamos empatados? We are tied. Uh, tile. Tile. Yeah, we are tile. But <laughs> if we if we if we observe if we observe um, the 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 most relevant are quantity, price, and product. Yeah. It's it's a, a statistical exercise <laughs> perfect, <laughs> the, perfect. the frequency <laughs> okay very good you win you win alberto and nubia <laughs> congratulations let's go oigan dice adriana que se despertó su hijito y por eso no nos podía responder Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. Twenty six seconds. I will call attendance before you chair. Okay. Five seconds. Nice. Now everybody. Mm. Two people were in the limbo. Only team. Okay, now everybody here. <laughs> there is always somebody that it's like before coming. Let's see. Tell me present, please. Out. There we go. Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana. Present teacher. Okay. Adriana Maria, Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Y que a veces les oigo las voces igual. <risa> ¿Verdad? ¿O soy solo yo? Sí, sí, no, no, yo también escucho eso. <risa> <risa> Con gemelas. Ana, Ana. Pre a Brenda Alexandra. Brenda, Brenda. No, Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Me pareció ver a Claudia. Ah, por ahí anda, escondida. Claudita, ¿y ese micrófono? Eh, Cruz Antonio. Presente. David, un gallo cantando ahorita, Cruz Antonio. Presente. <risa> Ese gallo está loco. <risa> está despierto. <risa> sí. Be sleeping. David. Present teacher. El mer Fabricio, no, ya no. José Alberto. Present teacher. Va a salir en la grabación todo un zoológico. ¿eh? ¿El qué? Perros, gatos, gallos, de todo. <risa> Hasta un grillo que se escucha incesantemente ahí. También. <laughs> yes. Yes. But at least nobody has a periquito, right? In the classes that I have in the morning, uh, when I was recording the class, 
the children open their microphones, we could listen to parakeets, the parrots, those cats, the, the, the person who passed through the street selling bread, selling tamales and everything. <laughs> really? Yeah, everything. At least at this time of the night, nobody is around selling anything. Right? People are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, José Alfredo, José Alberto, ya lo llamé, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, right? Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Antes de que me diga teacher, me ignoró. Ok, José Alfredo, José Alfredo. No, José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Presente. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Se nos ha perdido Mauricio hoy. Novia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Paul Edgardo. Present. Zulma. Present. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok, perfecto. Mm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Um, que mi cerebro no computa la cuenta. Sí, ¿No? ¿Quién no me dijo present? Que está. I have 19 people here, but only 18 told me present. Hi, teacher, I'm here at ah, present. Venga, ahí está. Ya ven. Es que hacemos las cuentas cabal. Ah, no, no. Ok, very good. Nice, nice. Pues oh, sí. Ya decía yo que me faltaba alguien que no me había hecho. Me que <risa> Vaya, let's see. Okay. Now I want to hear you. Let's see one volunteer. One volunteer or victim. According to your own experience, right? A ver, eh, Adriana Sofia, give me a number. Oops. Number 10. Number 10 is. Oh, sí. No hay volunteers. Me voy a ir así por las buenas. José Alberto. <laughs> Ay, yes. Okay. In the group, uh, we discuss about the, the, the more relevant three art and we uh, we think about uh, they are all important mm -hmm. they are all important but we consider that these three meet the most important requirement the right quantity the right price and the right product and we talk about the right time and this is uh, a point of discussion but uh, we consider uh, que, uh, that three is the most important because uh, meet the, the, the requirements for a good customer experience because if there is a there is not a, a, a right product 
a right quantity and a right price uh, is, is a problem if I uh, if we if we have a, a the a right conditions and a, a right time. Uh, for example, with you look at uh, one product, one a specific product, and you go to 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 the store for buy it and you have the right price is the right product but not the right quantity you don't buy it uh -huh, exactly. so that is our point of view mm -hmm. but i have a question for you yes i don't know if you have ever had the experience of having the money to buy something uh -huh. but you don't find it Exact. Mm -hmm. So it's like I have the money, but what do I do with the money if I cannot find what I need? The product. Uh huh. Exactly. Of you need a uh, tree, and you go to the to the store, and only you you find only two. Mm -hmm. If you need three, you can buy it. Exactly. It's quantity. The quantity, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And price? <laughs> <laughs> if it is too expensive, uh -huh. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't buy it either, right? Either. Yeah, right. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Tell me a number, Jose Alberto. Uh -huh. Number... 12. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Arnoldo, hello. Hi. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, hmm? um, I don't know. Um... What three R's um, did you choose? Um, the right product, the right price, and the right time. Mm -hmm. Because I I I bought some things on eBay or web page like that. Uh -huh. um, it's cheaper is the time is the delivery time is good and the product is right it's good too okay so which is better to bring things to el salvador ebay or amazon um It depends if you have a um, how do you say the boxing the boxing the packaging the, the postal um, mm -hmm. buson I buson. Uh -huh. If you have a box in the, where should you get that box? In Correos? Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Or where, like yeah. Correos. Okay. Déjeme pedir agua que ya me la acabé. Okay. Vaya, let's see. One more person, Jose Arnoldo, the last one. Give me a number. Um, you are 22. 15? 15, Maurice. I know here, Maurice. More than 15 or less than 15? More. Nubia? 
<laughs> She's closer. Novia, Novia. Tell me, teacher. Share. Share your experience, Novia. In our group, um, the arts uh, important. It's a, a right product, right uh, quantity, and right price. Mm -hmm. Right product, right quantity, and right price. Okay. Yes. Like Alberto. But you yes. were not in the same group. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 Yes, yes. Okay, so you had <clears throat> you had similar experiences here, right? Okay, nice. Now look at this. A ver. Do you know what is a fulfillment center? Any idea? Do you know what is a fulfillment center? I never heard that word before. Okay, that means you didn't watch the video I sent you. Did you see the video? Ah, ya los caché, beta. Did you see? The yes, but I, I really I don't understand anything <laughs> because that's it, that's it. I don't know. Because it was fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. so fast. The second one was easier. The second maybe, yeah. Was easier. Yeah. The purpose is that you get exposed, remember one, that mm -hmm. you get exposed to, to the language and that you get exposed to, to listening to other people apart, apart of the teacher, right? Now check. Full, a fulfillment center is like a warehouse, right? You know what is a warehouse, right? Yesterday we were mentioning the warehouse. What is the warehouse? It's a bodega. Uh, uh -huh. bodega. A place to a storage. A place to a storage. Exactly. That's a place, a place, or the place can be a building where you store goods right you can store their whatever so an amazon fulfillment center is an amazon warehouse where incoming yeah, the things that are that they are receiving incoming orders are stored packed and shipped the income orders are received so they receive the orders there. They put them in the warehouse, right? They store them there. Then they pack the things and they ship them out to the customers. That's what they do in the warehouse or in the fulfillment center. That's how they call it, right? A fulfillment center. So remember yesterday we were saying that when you want, or when you go to any store to buy something, they don't sell, they don't give you the one that is in the store. They send it to you from the warehouse, right? Because the warehouse is the one that has stored all the goods of the company. Now, what do they do in this fulfillment? Amazon's fulfillment centers receive, as we mentioned before, they receive pack, pack ship, and provide customer service. Yeah. I, was, I was reading that during the pandemic, as people couldn't receive their packages at home, they were welcome to go to the store. So they could go to the store to get their package, right? And they give a customer service there. 
they also handle returns. If, for example, you your product got a problem, you return it, right? So they can handle returns on behalf of the fulfillment by Amazon sellers. So you don't sell it, you don't send the product to the seller, you send it to the fulfillment center. The fulfillment center is the building, right? It's a place. So it's a location where they send you the product and you can send it back there if it has a problem, right? If it is damaged, for example. Another thing that I was uh, reading is that you can have tours in the Amazon Fulfillment Center. So if you say, well, I want to go see how uh, they work, how they pack the products, how they manage to move so many things and technology, right? And the different types of products that they sell or that they distribute around. So I want to see how they do that. <laughs> okay, so they, you can go see all the process since they receive a product, where they store that product, how they pack it and how that product is going out. I was watching a, a video and well, one of the videos that I shared with you, and it says that they have automatization. So they have robots and those robots are the ones that are directing the, the big cages, right? With a lot of product to a specific place. So as that automatization that they have can help them be more organized because the robot will not forget. I don't care even know the robot. Once you program it, it knows where it has to go, right? Yeah, I during during the video, I don't understand is the man is talking about the schedule or a scanner. He, uh, in the video, in general, what they were talking is about how they receive the product and how they send the products to pack them or to store them in the different areas depending mm -hmm. on the products that they have and how they pass after they are packed, right? And get ready to go out to, go, to be uh, chipped. Okay. okay. Before, it says that it began, Amazon began all in a, in a garage, right? Mm -hmm. The garage of Bezos. He and his wife were working with that. And little by little, it went growing. So today, they are 110 Amazon fulfillment centers. And as you saw in the video, that is enormous, right? And they have all those 110 Amazon fulfillment centers just in the United States. And there are other 185 centers around the world. And check how big they are. Some are as large as 28 football fields. Imagine. And they have the ability to hold millions of products, little products, big products, whatever you want to buy. Uh, you can buy it there. And here you have uh, an, ex an example, right, of the warehouse. You oh, see all little- It's a monster. <laughs> yes, definitely. So you have all little packages all around. And here, this is what I was telling you, you see. The robot is under each of the big machines that are moving and the robot is under it, it's controlling where each of the of these uh, boxes or quantity of boxes 
will go to to set. Okay, where are wow. You? And you see how many packages here they are packing, right? Here is the, the area of storage. Here they are packaging. The, so you see how the packages go through these stuffs, like when you go pay, when you go to Agricola Autobanco, right? Mm -hmm. And then the things come, and the same happens here, right? So they by <laughs> by big pipes. Yes. And mm -hmm. here you see these are like slides, right? A child will be happy going in these slides. <laughs> so the packages are also moving in different ways for here. Right. So the idea is that uh, well, everything is automatized, right? You don't see lots of people walking all around, right? Just super supervising what's going on, but what are working are robots, right? Because everything or machines, special machines, because everything is automatized. Now, how do they work? How? How do they work? I'm going to send you a document for you to read. Okay. I'll find out how. On, ch on chat, on the on WhatsApp. No, no, on the on a uh, how on, on WhatsApp. Okay. WhatsApp. I'm going to stop sharing. No, you see all my WhatsApp. Huh. <laughs> Last time Anna told me, teacher, you show in your WhatsApp. Bueno, que okay. no me dijo te enseñando, ya lo enseño. So, mm -mm. I best stop sharing. Vamos a ver, there you go. Read the information, discuss, right? It is there in the chat. So read the information, analyze it. It's not that big, right? It's not that big. I'm going to open it here. We have two pages. The page. Yeah. Did you charge it? I check. First, you're going to start reading what is a fulfillment center. And through the reading, you will see how they work, right? And what they do to move all the things that they have and how they have to pack and to level and everything. Okay, there we go. I'm going to change it to different groups. Check, check. There you go, join. Join, take turns reading the information, discussing, and be ready to share. And you will tell me what caught your attention about it. Join, join. Group number two, David, Carla, Brenda, Jose Arnoldo. Who is the group number four? Saul, Saul, join. Yes. Okay. I try to share the screen. Okay. Oh. 
You can see? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. How do... Okay. Fulfillment are what? How do Amazon fulfillment centers work? FBA fulfillment by Amazon. <laughs> Shipping of business. Okay, I I want to read. Um. What is a fulfillment center? FBA, the fulfillment, full, fulfillment by Amazon, is the process of storing, packing, and shipping orders. This is where the magic happens. First, the products enter the warehouse. Some come from other Amazon facilities, while others... Fulfillment by Amazon is the process of storing, packing, and shipping order. This is where the magic happens. First, the products enter the warehouse. Some come from other Amazon facilities, while others come directly from small businesses that are part of the F FBI program. Small vendors who are parts of this program have all the shipping taking care or for them and with a company as large as Amazon on their side. It helped them reach more buyers. And let me tell you, there are some truly strange things you can buy on Amazon. Can you continue? Yes. Now, if you are thinking that Amazon Warehouse is nearly organized, organized by category, as are many large department stores, think again. Items are stored in yellow staking bins and random and are tra tracked by computers as baffling as this is, this system makes make it easier for work workers to pack a variety of items. Robots bring these beans to a stowing station where workers will find the appropriate space. As the orders roll in, employees find the items in, in the bins that are brought by robots. When the employee finds the correct item, it was in something called a tote. After items are scanned for a currency, they go into a box that goes through a machine then paid on shipping labels, then they are ready to slide into a trailer that will bring them right to you. And people have a ton to say about their orders. There are many teams along the way that ensure this process is running the way, the way it should be. Especially with so many variables in place, according to Amazon, this, this process is always being fine tuned. Que relajo hacen ahí. Interesting in seeing in Amazon warehouse for yourself. Did you know that? You could take a tour of an Amazon fulfillment center. Wow. <laughs> now is your chance. But, but, but in car, because it's so big. <laughs> Why visitors used to have the ability to come by in person, 
COVID-19 COVID guidelines, guidelines have halted in person tours, but you can still sign up. Intermediario. Yeah. But if you look on, if I buy in Amazon, it's not exactly that they have the product. No. Sometimes, they mostly, they mostly, yes, they have. But uh, there is uh, some, some sellers that the, they, they, they sending the product right to you. Not about no through Amazon. They they directly. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. first the product enter to the uh, the warehouse and they are uh, uh Como categorizados, I don't know how to say that. Categorized. Categorized. And, and some small vendors who are part of this program, program have all the shipping taken. They send the, the product. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, now if you're thinking about uh, so I was product. saying that Amazon was like American Park. They have a lot of warehouse where they have products. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. Amazon is a is the platform in an intermediary in business and consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. they, if you go to Amazon and you choose a product, you can you can see the information of the vendor. Mm -hmm. And you can click on it and any direction to uh to the store e store or algo así dice como la tienda online de mm -hmm. esos de esos sellers. So if you want to sell your product in Amazon, <clears throat> you need to to have a online store. Yeah. For your products, Amazon yeah. is is like a a un centro comercial en línea. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and and physically is like uh, like the photos. It's a, a huge <laughs> warehouse, and you can find all the products that Amazon uh, offer in the, in their platform. Their platform, but there is uh, some product that Amazon don't have physically in in in. His warehouse, right? Only uh, as said uh, Adriana, Adriana, huh? yes. <laughs> uh, 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 it's a, only an intermediary. Yeah. No, but Amazon uh, do have a uh, a warehouses. Yes. Yeah. And no, Amazon is. Have the complete logistics. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's Amazon. Logistics. Yep. Yeah, but uh, uh, sometimes in the in the in the company I work, I work, uh, we are uh, <coughs> buy product in Amazon, very product, and we use uh consolidadora, no sé cómo se dice eso, eh, who, who is the company, the, a company who, who, who has a office in Miami and we, uh, 
we buy to Amazon and we we ask to Amazon to uh, send to Miami and the, this company send to the El Salvador, right? Um, como, como, una, como un casillero. Mm, algo así, pero lo que pasa es que es una consolidadora. Por... Days. ¿Ah? It comes in seven days. Uh -huh. ah, entonces, en la consolidadora lo que hace es lo junta, pero no solamente tu producto, sino que el producto de muchas otras empresas. Y eso lo manda, dependiendo de la urgencia, te lo manda antes, en, 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 por, por poquito a ti o cómo, y, este, y te hace los trámites acá. Ah, pero esa ya es función de la, del casillero que usas. Entonces, si vos compras este... como Amazon, directamente a Amazon. Pero es que el problema de cuando compras directamente a Amazon, hay productos que no, los, no te los pueden dar por la, el área donde vivís. No, como no. Pero... Tú compras en Amazon tú, directamente. Uh -huh. Colocas en la dirección del shipping la dirección del casillero. Ah, no, 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 si... ok. Ah, sí, 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 no, sí, sí, pero es que... Ajá, entonces, Ajá, o sea, vos es... puedes comprar a través de la empresa y ellos van a hacer lo mismo, comprar en Amazon y colocar la dirección del casillero o puedes comprar tú directamente para no usar la credit card del consolidador y que no te uh -huh. cobren esa comisión y compras tú directamente y mandas a esa dirección, entonces... El consolidador Exacto. recibe en su misma dirección el paquete de todo el mundo, pero como uh -huh. va con un número de casillero específico y un nombre específico, uh -huh. pueden, pueden identificar el paquete que te corresponde y ya ellos deciden si te lo despachan con prioridad en los, en los siguientes dos días o uh -huh. espera un poco más para consolidar suficiente carga para que el flete salga barato. Correcto, pero lo que pasa es que también de... tú... How much? Mm -hmm. How much is the shipping? Sometimes That's... you can pay, bueno, hace dos años, eh, two dollars per eh, pound. Two dollars? Yep. Okay. Can I buy vitamin? No. No. You need a visa. You need a permission. <laughs> a visa. <laughs> Dependiendo de las vitaminas que son o los medicamentos que son, los pueden traer o le van sí. a pedir un, un permiso para poderlos traer. Y la cantidad, dependiendo de la cantidad y el tipo de vitaminas, los I componentes. They, que they sell pills too. Um, I came to the page. They mm -hmm. sell yeah. advils, las ibuprofenos, right? Uh -huh. Yes, algunos, but, uh, algunos productos tienen regulaciones uh -huh, o porque exactly. necesitan permisos o porque son prohibidos uh -huh. o porque son de consumo uh -huh. o sea hay algunos, hay algunos productos que traen que, que tienen regulación y entonces le cobran más by uh -huh. imagine you ordering Hanes from the from the United States through Amazon Hanes has the 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 how can I say the place where they elaborate the clothes here in Opic. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. True. So imagine there are many products that people buy them through Amazon from the United States and they are made here in El Salvador. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But you can you can you, you can buy direct to Amazon and you can ask to send here to El Salvador. Sí. But that but that depends of the uh, the product you want to buy because there is a product that uh, because the area in, uh, where we live they cannot uh, they can't dispatch to us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh... It depends of the seller. Mm -hmm. If the seller uh, hasn't a uh, contract with the shipping company, mm -hmm. they refuse to to send the the package to El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the seller uh, reduce their 
they are limited yeah. just to the United States areas. Mm -hmm. But uh, to <laughs> to you to here to to El Salvador, it's a long time, much time than uh, if you uh, buy um, send to Casillero, como decía Adriana. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sí, porque eh, te lo mandan por correo nacional. Mm -hmm, correcto, te puedes mm -hmm. un montón en venir hasta acá. Sí. Pero sí puede venir, pues hay gente que ha pedido, pero hay cosas que no se las pueden despachar. Sí, hay unas que sí. If you buy within the United States, that's about three days, right? Again. I buy in the United States and send products mm -hmm. to a warehouse. Of a freight forward. Uh -huh. They consolidate uh, shipments. Shipping is cheap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Bueno, pues me los llevo ya. <coughs> oh. Okay. okay. Let's see. We're talking about Amazon. What did you learn about the article from the article that you were reading? Volunteer? Or victim? <laughs> yes, they bit. How does Amazon work? Se nos perdió David. David, David. Let's see, Saul Edgardo. Saul, Saul. Uy, ¿quiénes están por aquí? Zulma y Janet. Present. Ay, tell me, no estoy pasando lista. I'm asking for participation. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me, how does Amazon work? Remember, eh. about the Amazon's fulfillment centers, right? How do they work? Well, they have uh, they have robots. Uh, uh, they have a container where they put uh, in order. Uh, uh, and then uh, put the the labels to identify the products. Uh, and pass from machines um, they are so organization they have a, a good organization uh, and you can have visit with you can program a virtual tour to see how they work um, and this, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, propaganda <laughs> that you can take the Amazon Prime. Advertisement. <laughs> Advertisement, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you so much. Choose, choose something going to talk next. O tell me a number, Zulma, si no se siente comprometida. Ok, yes. Number? For, for a good look, number seven. Number seven, Cruz Antonio. Cruz, Cruz. Cruz. No here, Cruz Antonio. My dog. My neighborhood dog is barking. Sorry. Yeah, she's hungry. No está cruz, se perdió. 
numbers, Uma? Okay, so uh, one less six. One less would be Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. No está tampoco Claudia. My volunteer. Volunteer Fernando, thank you. Okay, uh, the article says that that we think if we think that the the warehouse is neatly organized, but it's not. Mm -hmm. If you put attention, uh, the things are are uh, stored uh, messy in a messy way, mm -hmm. but the robots uh, find find them using a a tracking number or something like that. And that's after that, they put it in the uh, stowing station. And then uh, they ask for the, for the beans. They talk about beans. Uh, son como, como cajas pequeñas, no sé, contenedores. Ah, containers. Containers. Yes. Eh, para que después, uh, after, to, to get uh, sent to the customers. Mm -hmm. And they say that it's weird. The thing is not what, what we think. Normally, we could think that uh, there's a place, uh, a very organized place but it's not it's all a messy uh, around there but the robots know how imagine a person looking for the objects in that enormous uh, place hmm. i used to i used to work in a in a warehouse of imakasa mm -hmm. and that's a, a big big warehouse we use uh, elevators and uh, trucks. I don't know how to say lift, uh -huh. fork, forklift. Uh -huh, the forklift. To to get down the product from the from the racks. And when when we made uh, when we make inventory, mm -hmm. it was a crazy thing because mm -hmm. we have to find the right product the right quantity and that was a, a, a crazy day because <laughs> it's hard to find a product in a, in a in a huge place like that not only a day but about a couple of weeks right um, yes yes you have you are right wow imagine if putting your house in order is difficult <laughs> Imagine a complete warehouse. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see one more volunteer. Fernando, choose a, a, a give me a number. Okay, let me see. Uh, she has a nice voice. Uh, Adriana Sofia. Okay, Adriana Sofia. Sophie, Sophie. Ya me fui. <laughs> Can you repeat the question, please? What caused an impression to you about the way Amazon works? For me, <laughs> is... What do you as a group you decide, right? Well... We are we were discussing about the the different experience that we had with this website, uh, this business. Um, I think that that all of us had a different experience. In my case, as Adriana, <laughs> for me, Amazon is 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 very amazing 
everything, uh, all the process that they have in, in the sale, in the logistics, in returns, in packing, in everything. So uh, I have been working in logistics. So uh, Amazon is a, is, a, is a very exciting uh, case of study <laughs> mm -hmm. and to learn uh, many, many things about how to control and how to proceed with, with, a, with a very efficient logistics and, and a very complete process. Since receiving the product to sending it out of the, of the warehouse again, right? Okay. Thank yes. You. Okay. Uh, or um, pick up on the warehouse of Amazon, or pick up on the where of the facilities of sellers. Uh, coordinate the the transport. Uh, coordinate the deliveries, and the the service of if you have if you, if you receive your package complete or you are okay or agree with what you have you received uh -huh, because they even give you a service right customers <laughs> right. excellent thank you adriana thank you very much okay present teacher present. No. And yeah. <laughs> right on time exactly <laughs> let me see adolfo rivas Present teacher. Thanks, nice. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No hay. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Sofía, espero que siga mejor. Thank you. Ana. 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 Perdimos a Ana. Brenda Alexandra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Luz Antonio. David. Uy, Dios mío, te pronto ya. Present teacher, excuse me. <laughs> My microphone is, is bad. Ya se fueron corriendo. <laughs> Let's Present. see. José Alberto. José. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No hay. No hay José Alfredo. José Hernando. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Eh, Mauricio Nubia Pedro Luis Present teacher Present teacher Saúl Edgardo Present Zulma Janet Present Victor Present teacher Nando Enrique Present and Rosy. Present teacher. ¿Quién se queda conmigo? Claudia se quedó ayer. Sí, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No se quedó. Ah, pues le toca a Claudita. ¿Quién se quedó conmigo ayer? Brenda. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day and a nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, Good night. Good night. everybody. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. It's time to sleep. Yeah. Nice, nice. 
Ana. Ana, José Alfredo. Ah, se quieren quedar conmigo, ¿eh? Pues. Uh. José Alfredo, hello. Uh -huh. Hi, hi. Por teacher, I'm leaving. <risa> Yo dije, Ana se quiere quedar conmigo otra vez. Alfredo, 